Yo, welcome back guys to the Terraria Let's Play Split Spawn. Last video, I killed Paraffin. It was such an insane boss fight. So now we have the Pandora's Cup, but I think this item summons a very, very strong boss that we are not ready for yet. So we'll hold this for now. I think I plan on unlocking some of the tectonic chests in this area or biome. I'm kind of curious of what's inside these chests. And we're also going to take on the mechanical bosses. Uh, after the mechanical bosses are done, the next step would be to fight Mirage. I can fight this boss after one mechanical boss is defeated. So we'll, we'll just see how things go. But yeah, that's going to be the plan for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. All right. Let's open some of these chests. Let's do this one. Oh my god, hold up. I thought those flames wouldn't chase me anymore. Wow, these guys are tanky. Look at that. I'm only... What is that? Unfairy with the gun? <laughs> what? That's not fair. Okay, so we got the Molten Hook. We can make the Blazing Whip. And the Damned Catcher. The Fishing Rod. Oh, but we need the mechanics hook. Can we just buy that? No, we can't. Wait, what's this? We have technology. 71 heavy melee damage. Wait, it has a 53% critical chance. And it gives us 5 additional defense. Alright, let's try this thing out. Wait, that's it? Okay. That's kind of <laughs> anticlimactic. Let's see, let's see it right here. Boom! Wait, what was that? I smacked the fish and then something came out of it. Let's try again. Oh, like computer parts or like screws just come out that deals extra damage. Wait, this is actually decent, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. We also got the Searing Ember. Uh, 70 magic damage, 50% critical strike chance. Let's, uh, how much does it cost to reforge? Eight, okay, never mind. We're kind of poor right now. Okay, I think I'm gonna fight Paraffin a couple more times just to see what she drops. And, and then we can also get some more of those keys to open the chests. Oh my god. No, oh, I choked. Oh, I did it. Let's go. All right, let's open it up. We got the Blazing Rift. Another Palladium Shield as well. Charge attack at a distance. Whoa. Okay, and it only uses 11 mana. Okay, so I think I messed up here. I think we can only get the tectonic keys from uh, that sun guy. So I think we're going to need to go back over here and get those pearls. All right, awesome looking match. Let's just toss it over here. Oh, gotta put my sentries down, I forgot. There we go. <laughs> Absolutely demolished. Alright, here's another- oh, there's a couple here. Instigator and Blazing Bangle. Increases damage done to burning enemies. How about this one? Magma Fang. And another Molten Hook. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay. Ignites each arrow with deadly scorching blaze. There's also black arrow that we got, 99 of them. It creates a copy of an arrow when it hits enemy. Oh, it's that thing. It's an extra arrow that comes out. 
Okay, that's pretty cool. And another searing ember. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, we got the instigator, right. Almost forgot about that. Oh, it's a ping pong racket. Summons three fireballs that can be tossed. Fireballs explode on impact. Right click to slash without creating a ball. It's also a material. Ooh, okay, we can make the chill blaine with some souls of might and a frost core. So we need to kill the destroyer first. All right, we can make the destroyer first and make the mechanical skull. And then we just need two of each soul, I think. Oh, no, 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 just the mechanical eye. So five more souls of light. Wait, there's new monsters here now. I just realized. Never seen the muscatel muscul what muskeleton? There we go. Oh, thriller. Glacial zircon. Wait, there's so many new material. What's going on? Ooh, we can make the glacial zircon armor set. And it seems like it's for the melek. What the haunted anchor? Okay. As I was saying, I think this armor set is for the melee class. Uh, ooh, it gives a ton of defense for the uh, breastplate. We need the shadow helmet. Yeah, just the shadow armor set and then we can convert it. Oh, we got the hollowed key? Wait. How lucky are we? What the? Oh no. It's a hollow mimic. No! Wait, can I take a picture of it? Oh, I did. Okay. There we go. We got the Daedalus Stormbow. I could use the Daedalus Stormbow for the destroyer fights. Uh. Yeah, so I guess I'll keep it, but I don't know. I usually use it, so it's not like fun, I'd say. I kind of want to test out other weapons for the boss fight. So if things go bad and like I can't beat the destroyer with the other weapons, then I guess I'll switch over to this. All right, we have enough. Let's get out of here. All right, let's make our mechanical eye first. Okay, there we go. Now we have all three summons and then let's make our new armor sets. I think I'm just going to summon the Eye of Cthulhu because we do have enough shadow scales, but we're lacking on the Demonite bars. All right, we got to do this fast because nighttime's almost over. No, 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 no. I messed up, guys. I messed up. No! I used the wrong one! Okay, maybe... No, there's no way. There's no time. Oh my god. How can I be that stupid? I mean, I do have enough to make another, so it's not that big of a deal, but still. Alright, let's not use this by accident this time. Okay, you know what? Since it's daytime, I don't want to wait for nighttime to come, uh, so we're just gonna kill the destroyer. There are three shadow orbs left, but I can't remember if I destroyed some before. So we'll go check that right now. All right, let's go. And then last one, there we go. Run, run, run. Okay, we could just chill here. Yep, keep it coming. All right, we're done. All right, shadow helmet, mail, and then greaves. Then we need the stone of inspiration. There we go. Okay. 20 increased melee critical strike chance. This one is 13% increased melee damage. 
Grant Zircon Blades that will attack nearby enemies upon melee hits. And then this one, ooh, plated, plus 4 defense. And also gives 14% increased movement speed. That effect is increases speed of heavy weapons by 22%. So I'm guessing it's like this. I take it off. Yeah, okay. Okay. Let's try out the Zircon Blades. Let's find an enemy real quick. Does Yo-Yo count as, um, as a melee hit? Probably, right? Oh yeah, it does. Okay, perfect. Alright, I think it's time to get some wings. We are lacking on wings and I don't want to take fall damage anymore. So let's go build up. Alright, now we wait. Oh no, I need to capture you. Don't die! Oh, there we go. Oh god. Okay. 10 souls of flight, so we need 10 more. Is there any new wings? I think I saw this one, yeah, the bejeweled wings. But I still don't know how to get the shiny dust. Well, if it's a pixie, then it's prob probably in the hollowed, right? Alright, we have enough. Right, I don't have all damage negation yet. Oh! Wait, we got the giant harpy feather? We could just make the harpy wings like right off the bat, I think. Right? Yeah, we can. Oh, but I really want to see what the uh, the bejeweled wings look like. Okay, I'm, I'll go to the hollowed bomb first. And then see if I can find any of those pixies. If not, then I'll make the harpy wings. Okay, so I searched it up. And apparently, those uh, shiny pixies, I think, they can only be found found while it's raining in the hollowed so unfortunately it's not raining right now so i guess i'll make the harpy wings first when it does rain i'll go back to the hollowed biome and then we can make the wings all right there we go let's go check our album because i know we collected a few pictures blue sky envelope and the exquisite envelope let's open this one first Lucky Horseshoe. Wait, Lucky Lucky Horseshoe. And the Armor Polishing Kit. Uh, let's just use it on... This, I guess. Ooh, another 4 defense. Nice. Then we can open our Exquisite Envelope. Another Polishing Kit and a Star Cloak. And also a Life Crystal, but we already have max health, so... I guess we can turn it into like a life or heart lantern and then let's put the last one on this strong increase max health by 20 okay 420 a hey, blaze it <laughs> i'm kidding guys don't don't smoke not cool oh we have a we have one plan oh that's, i thought we were poor let's reforge come on angry okay yeah sure why not Alright, it is now nighttime. Can we kill the destroyer? Alright, is this long enough or high enough to uh, reach the destroyer? Let's find out. Wait, come on. No! Not Kenoshi! Okay, we can we can touch it. Oh, this is so bad. no! All my NPCs are dying. No. Yeah, if I'm gonna try to beat this thing before daytime comes, I need to get down here. Oh, that's oh god. Okay, that's a lot of damage. No! What just happened? Oh my god. I had that in the bag too. Oh, 
We don't have enough souls of night anymore. Guess we gotta go back. Get some more souls of night. Alright, we're good. Let's go back. Alright, let's not choke this time. I already restarted two bosses already. Alright, this time I'm gonna use the Blazing Rift. Because just luck, I mean... I feel like this weapon would be pretty good against the Destroyer. Alright, our Goblin Tinkerer is back. Welcome back, I'm sorry for killing you. Yeah, let's upgrade this. Since we'll be using it for the boss fight, Masterful. I feel like we can get... Mythical, for some reason. So let's keep going. What I tell you? There we go. Alright. Now we just gotta wait for uh, nighttime. Wait a minute. This is going to be a terrible night. Is that the twins? I think so. Alright, well, thank god we have some wings now. Oh boy, are we even ready for this guy? Okay, I'm gonna get my snowflake just in case. And also this. Yep, they're the twins. Okay, thank god our yo-yo is long enough to fight this guy. I'll save my ranged weapons for second phase. There we go. Alright, let's switch. Alright, one more to go. Alright, and we're done. Hey, that wasn't so bad. Uh, we got the treasure bag now and the booster, the twins booster. Archery and ammo reservation effects. I think that's like the uh, consumption rate of the of ammo, right? Open up our bag. Got some hollow bars. Those of sight. All right, let's go summon the destroyer now. Oh, let's use our yeah. Let's use the weapon. Here we go. Oh my! Look at that damage. Okay, let's not get too cocky. Let's kill some of these probes, because there's a, a lot of them. Oh yes, look at that. I love it when it goes vertical. Man, I should have used this weapon from the start. Holy crap, that was so fast. Okay, I uh, got a poor unfortunate soul again. And I didn't know we can combine it with the magic mirror, so let's go ahead and do that. And let's see what our destroyer booster does. Increases mining speed by 33% and increases max life by 25%. Oh, 520 health. That's an insane amount. And if we get life fruits later on, we'll have 620 health. Alright, let's make the funky mirror. So, how do I teleport back home? Did I just mess myself over? Maybe you can't teleport home? Wait... Oh, I got baited! Okay, do we have another magic mirror? Oh no, this is actually kind of scary. Oh, we do! Okay, thank god. Oh, I have two more. Alright, last boss we need to kill is the Skeletron Prime. There's not much you can really make with uh, the hollowed bars for the split mod. So it's just the usual. Uh, I guess we'll make the pickaxe axe only because we want to stick with this armor set. Alright, since there's nothing else to do while we wait for nighttime, I might as well just check out the dungeon again just in case if there's like new monsters. Oh, okay, there is a new monster. Fortress. I do need to take a picture, so please don't die. There we go. Alright, let's go kill it. It dropped the Morganstern. Releases spike balls when damaged. Oh, okay, we can make this. 
molten stern with some hellstone and hemostone bars. And here's the hollow chest, so we'll open that whenever we defeat Plantera to make the molten stern. There we go. Releases fiery spike balls when damaged. Wait, this is also material. Alright, let's see this thing in action when damaged. So we have to take damage. No, the spike... Oh! Wait, how long is this? Okay, that was... That was pretty long. Whoa! Wait! You have three out? Let me see, let me see. One hit me. Oh my... I think it's four max. Alright, it is now nighttime. Here we go. Three, two, one. Go. Yeah, this is gonna be kinda rough. But this thing does so much damage. So if we can get this thing lower, that would be great. Okay, whenever it does its spinning attack, then we can use our magic weapon. Blazing Rift. Like right now. Oh my god, my... Heal! Okay, it's almost dead. And... You are dead. There we go. Jungle now grows restless. Okay, so our Skeletron Prime Booster gives armor penetration and melee speed by 15%. And also gives to wait, 200, 200 thorn effect. Wait, let's go, let's go. Oh, here we go. Uh, get rid of this. Oh my! That is crazy. Look how much damage it did. 98, 100, 172, 198. 232. Oh, whoa, 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 calm down, calm down. Alright. Muna is sleeping. Still, this world would be a better place if it had a little more of me. I can challenge it? 3, 2, 1. Oh, it's just a menace again. Oh, okay. Oh god. Alright. I thought it was going to be a completely different boss. Alright, we have all the souls now, so let's make the pickaxe axe. Then we can get rid of the ham axe and our adamantite pickaxe. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, hit the thumbs up, comment down below, and also subscribe to the channel. Uh, next video, we're definitely going to take on Mirage. Yes. This will be the next boss we will fight. Hopefully we win. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching once again, and see you next video. Peace.